Welcome to the final presentation of Principles of Management Group 5, Team Manageable. The members of Group 5, Team Manageable, are Alex McGathy, Regina Yost, Jarek Johnston, Khalees Johnson, and Joseph Pereira. Our show concept is a simple one. Marjorie Davis is the manager of the sales department at a small telecommunications company called Tampa Communications. She has worked there for 10 years and started off as a secretary working her way up. She is nearing her anniversary. In that time, she's become very close with her boss, the owner and CEO of the company, Clark Campbell. She considers Clark to be a dear friend and a mentor. Recently, Marjorie has tried to sell a new type of wall cable to their customers. This cable is notably more expensive, but testing has shown that it lasts longer and provides less static and more call clarity. Marjorie has done a great job at selling this new cable and is very proud of her accomplishments. One day, Marjorie is speaking to one of their clients when she is required to pull up their invoice. She sees that they were charged for the new, more expensive cable, but later when she pulls up the order TAMP Communications placed for the cable to see when it will arrive so they can install it, she sees that the old, less expensive cable has been ordered for the job. Confused, Marjorie believes that there must have been a mistake. She looks into other companies that have ordered the new cable and sees the same thing. Marjorie knows that Clark is the only one in the company with access to change such records. She does not know if she should confront him, however, as he is her boss and friend and does not want to accuse him of charging their clients for the new cable and installing the old cable in order to pocket the difference. On the other hand, she does not want her clients and employees to be hurt and duped by his scheming. Marjorie must decide between her career, Clark's trust, and the integrity of the company. Can she protect all three? This is a question we wish for our viewers to consider. Our intended audience is young adults in the business industry. We want them to consider and explore how they might act if they were placed in a similar situation. The characters in our television show are Marjorie, Clark, Nick, Carl, and Joshua. Marjorie is a hard-working woman in her early 30s. She is loyal to her company and has spent countless hours staying late to get the job done. With relatively few friends, she is very close to Clark, the CEO. At 50 years old, Clark is the CEO and owner of Tampa Communications. He is very keen when it comes to making money. He started the business when he was young and took it over entirely when his business partner betrayed him. He is now managing trust issues. Fresh out of college, Nick was able to land a job with the company. Now six months later, he is the head accountant. Nick is still learning how to handle managing people under him and frequently goes to Marjorie for advice. As the head of the IT department, Carl has been with the company for six years. He is not very sociable, but does not mind light conversation. He has built a close bond with Clark and keeps him informed of the important things going on in the office. Every day he gives Clark a report of important events and any employee misbehavior. Joshua is the manager of installations and has been with the company for five years now. He is an extreme introvert who has a knack for finding ways to boost efficiency. Joshua lives with Carl, who is also his best friend. We tied the use of management concepts learned in this course into all of our episodes. Each episode had a theme. Episode 1, Ethical Decision Making. Episode 2, Integration. Episode 3, Motivation. Episode 4, Basic Model of Communication. Episode 5, Collection of Concepts Used in Prior Episodes. As stated in the instructions, I will only go in detail about two of our episodes. I will explain the concepts we used in Episode 1 and Episode 4 because I believe decision-making and communication are two of the most vital skills that you must possess as a manager. Episode 1 leaves Marjorie in a position where she must consider managerial ethics. Chapter 2 defines managerial ethics as the study of morality and standards of business conduct. The actions of Clark, the CEO, are clearly an unethical business practice. Marjorie is placed in an ethical dilemma. Marjorie could confront her boss about his unethical business practices or let his actions continue for the short-term financial gain of the company. 
Choosing to let this issue slide and choosing short-term financial gain over the ethical decision to stop this practice immediately would be an ethical lapse for Marjorie. In this situation, if Marjorie applied ethical decision-making, she would confront Clark and let him know that this business practice is unethical and could lead to major problems for Tampa communication. Episode 4 uses the basic model of communication, with Marjorie and Nick communicating, relaying, and encoding messages. Marjorie decodes the information provided to her by Nick to attempt to do her own detective work on the issue at hand with Clark. Marjorie continues to communicate and encode messages and information by heading to the installation department and find further information. Marjorie and others in the episode use various methods of communicating and deciphering messages communicated. This episode also displays the organizational structure of Tampa Communications by portraying different sectors and departments of the company. An effective manager embodies many of the concepts covered in this course. Effective communication, motivation, leadership, delegation, time management, and decision-making, amongst many other traits, can be combined to form an inspiring and productive manager. A manager must also be able to trust and respect those they manage. Management requires a lot of hard yet rewarding work. Before one can even think about managing others, they have to first learn how to manage themselves. Management on the individual and group levels is something this class has given us a chance to practice on multiple occasions. Management is not easy, nor will it ever be. There are many ways to be a good manager, just as there are many ways to be a bad one. It takes a lot of hard work, patience, and dedication to be a manager. This is something that this course and this project has taught us. Most of the objectives of this course have been used throughout the course during the group project. We have had to learn how to manage ourselves and manage our teams. Everything we have accomplished throughout this course has 100% been a group effort. One of the most important things I learned was how to work with my group to work out our issues. In the real world, when working on a team, you cannot go running to your boss when not everyone on your team agrees or when two or more people are butting heads. You need to learn how to work together to work through these issues and come out as a stronger team because of them. Team Manageable has had many issues throughout this semester, some of which were quite hard to work through. Team Manageable, however, is stronger now more than ever. Our group has learned many valuable lessons through principles of management this semester, both from inside and outside of the textbook. One very important lesson we learned was how to effectively communicate through mobile channels. 100% of our group communication was done through communication apps, shared document programs, and email. Learning how to work efficiently and productively with a team through mobile and or electronic communication is an essential skill in today's world. The world of business is becoming more global and more technology-oriented every single day. Personally, in my job, I speak to people all across the country and the world on a daily basis. So getting experience completing assignments and becoming proficient with electronic business-minded communication has been an invaluable lesson learned in this course. Many classes aren't group-oriented in any way, shape, or form. You can simply do your assignments without speaking to anyone all semester. Principles of Management has given us an interesting and an educational experience by letting us work in a group on important and valuable assignments. Simple things like being ahead of schedule, meeting deadlines, and keeping in constant communication are valuable assets in the world of business. There are very few times in your career where you'll be solely in charge of a project. More than likely, you will be working in groups for the rest of your life. This semester has given us all valuable experience in getting used to working in a group. One of Team Manageable's favorite things from this class was learning interesting management concepts that actually apply to real-world situations. All of us work and have had experiences this summer where course concepts have applied. 
It has been a learning experience to see the science behind these concepts in class and then see them practiced in the real world of business. A recommendation to future students from Group 5, Team Manageable. Truly understand the management concepts taught in this course and try to relate them to your everyday lives or your job. The information in this course is much easier to understand, learn, and apply when you relate it to something you actually do in your life. A great way to practice the concepts you will learn in this course for real-life situations is to use them in the group project. Understanding and applying concepts taught in this course can make you a better student, employee, and someday a better manager. Thank you for watching Group 5's final presentation of our semester of Principles of Management. We hope you learned as much as we did and enjoyed the process as much as we did as well. Best of luck to all of you. Thanks.